This is a quick tutorial of how to solve a nanogram. For this example, we're going to look at a victim that was found outdoors um, who has a rectal temperature of 23 degrees centigrade. The ambient temperature is 17 degrees centigrade. The victim's body mass is 52. They were found to have two layers of thick clothing and the air was moving outdoors. In this example, because the ambient temperature is 17 degrees centigrade, I am using a nanogram uh, that goes up to 23 degrees for the external temperature. The first thing we need to do is connect a point, a line, between the rectal temperature and the ambient temperature. So again, the rectal temperature is 23 degrees, so I'm going to connect a point from 23 over to 17. And in this example, we'll use blue. Next, I need to start from the center of the circle or the target location, and I'm going to go through the point at which my blue line intersects the black line, which is part of the nanogram. And so right here is where I want to intersect. So I'm going to start at the center of the target, work my way out with a red line, and extend it out past the last semicircle of the nanogram. Now what I need to do is I need to convert the body mass using corrective factors. Because this person is wearing clothing, that will actually help insulate the body and slow the body cooling process. The moving air sometimes will have an effect on body mass. It depends on how fast the moving air is. In this case, I'm going to take 52 kilograms, and I'm going to look up the corrective factors multiplier, and it happens to be 1.2. When I take 50 times 1.2, that's 62 kilograms. Now I'm going to round down to 60 kilograms because it's the closest unit of 10. Now what I will do is I'll come over here on my scale. I have one at the bottom of the nanogram, and I have one going up the other side. It's the exact same scale. But I'm going to find the line that has a 60 next to it, which happens to be right here. And this one is closer to my second line that I drew. I'm going to follow that up and I'm going to look at the point at which my red line, that second line, crosses the nanogram semicircle. Notice there are numbers within this nanogram. There are not numbers at every single numerical marking. So here's 18, here's 19. It looks as though my red line goes right over the 20 line marking there. Now because this person was wearing clothes, I know already that they are uh, have been dead, time since death is 20 hours, but I also have to use my corrective factor value for standard deviation. In this case, my red line comes just before this black line out here, which tells me because they had corrective factors used, they weren't uh, unclothed, I'm going to take my 20 hours and plus or minus 4.5, because that's on the outside like it says using corrective factors. So what I could suggest is that this person was dead 20 hours ago, plus or minus 4.5 hours. Now if I do the math with that, that really gives me a range of 15.5 to 24.5 hours before the temperatures were taken at the crime scene.